All right, what's up, YouTube? We are back, and I wanted to recover the Athena Pro Line mixing. Uh, I made a video about this before mixing their bloom um, into a stock tank or concentrate mix. Uh, a lot of you had some follow up questions, some things were still unclear, and their and mixing instructions can be a little misleading. So I wanted to go ahead and cover it again. It's time for me to mix up my core uh, stock tank or you know five gallon bucket tank uh, for my concentrate. Um, so I want to go ahead and cover that again since it's time for me to do it anyhow. It seemed like a perfect opportunity to recover uh, these instructions. Uh, so hopefully I can put it in a little bit more informative matter and you know help it make more sense to the most of you. So uh, let's get right into it. Step one, determine the ratios. They do have a two or one pound per gallon mixing ratio. Uh, they also have this in grams if you work on the metric systems. For the sake of this video, we'll be using the two pounds per gallon mixing instructions, uh, which can easily be converted. Simply just use half as much, of course. Step two, make sure your container that you'll be mixing in, your stock tank mix, that has measurement marks. We're mixing at two pounds per gallon, which is one of those little bags. Uh, so, and I wanna do two bags, so that's two gallons total. So I need to make sure that I have the one gallon marked as well as an accurate two gallon mark. All right, here's an important notice, an important update, so please take this and keep this note in mind. Simply because I want to mix two bags, which is going to be a two gallon mix since it's one bag per gallon, which is a two pound bag, correct? Does not mean that I will be using a full two gallons of water. So make sure you have a pre-marked you know, levels of halfway and the full way of where you wanna go, which in my case is one gallon and two gallons. If you're mixing more, say 50 gallons, have a 25 and a 50 gallon mark. You will not be using the amount of gallons of water you think simply because that's your mark, and we'll get more into that later. Okay, step three. Simply fill to the halfway line that you marked earlier, which in my case was the one gallon line. Go ahead and pour it in. This does not have to be exact, by the way. Um, this is just to have something to start your mixture with. So if you're over, if I was at a gallon and a half, that's fine. You just wanna make sure you have some water in there to mix with, preferably RO water. And it's best to do with warm water. It helps break down and mix the dry nutrients much faster. Step four, slowly add your nutrients in and mix. Make sure it is thoroughly mixed uh, before we move on to the next step. So you want all the parts to be broken up. This could take a little while, so be patient. And this is why warm water helps out quite a lot. And step five, once you are completely mixed up as we are here, go ahead and take your mixer out and you wanna fill with your RO water to your final fill line, which for us was the two gallon mark, right? Because we did two bags and each bag was two pound bag and it's two pounds per gallon. So two pounds, so two gallons total. And you wanna go ahead and fill to this line now, now that it's fully mixed and you are finished. The reason why we didn't fill to this line initially is because those dry nutrients, you know, the two pounds in each uh, gallon, takes up volume inside of here. So if we were to just initially fill right to two gallons and then add in our, our nutrient bags, we would end up somewhere around here. So our, our mix would be diluted and weak. So that's why you wanna go ahead and fill about halfway like I said, it doesn't matter. We were a little bit over half, but that's okay because you know we're just gonna top it off later on. You just wanna make sure that you're not filled so much that when you add in your nutrients, you're, you know, you're up past your final you know, top mark. So that's it. Hopefully that helps you guys out. A little bit more of a step-by-step -step guide, pretty much five-step process, pretty simple. Don't skip steps and you won't mess up. And that way when you do your dosage per the chart that they recommend, whether it be the two all the way up to, I believe, four EC values they have, milliliters, per gallon of your concentrate mix of core bloom and grow you end up with ec targets that they recommend otherwise you will not line up and wonder why and that's why because you didn't follow these steps so go ahead and end it here peace out youtube and as always happy growing guys